Greetings everyone. My name is Ed Michaels and I'm currently the co-director of the Lakeland Jazz Festival and interim director of the Lakeland Civic Jazz Orchestra. I am pleased to say that Lakeland Community College has always been a strong supporter of the fine and performing arts. Before we begin the Cleveland Jazz Orchestra concert presentation, we would like to share a selection from Lakeland's virtual fall semester concert. Here's the Lakeland Civic Jazz Orchestra performing Good Bait, composed by Tad Dameron and edited by Dr. Ken Inglehart of Youngstown State University. Hope you enjoy it. Hello, my name is Adam Cloutier and I am the Dean for Arts and Sciences at Lakeland Community College. It is my pleasure to welcome you to the 49th year of the Lakeland Community College Jazz Festival. Before I introduce our events for the weekend, I would like to share a few items. First, I hope you and your loved ones are healthy and are navigating these challenging times the best you can. The last year has been difficult for many and Lakeland wishes you and your loved ones health and happiness today and into the future. Second, the Arts at Lakeland continue to provide opportunities to create amazing works of art and music. We thank you for joining us tonight and hope you participate with us 
in the future. As a quick overview, the arts at Lakeland consists of the Art Gallery at Lakeland, Civic Theater, and six civic music ensembles, including the orchestra, chorus, jazz orchestra, band, flute choir, and jazz impact. The gallery welcomes you to visit our website and participate in the virtual tour of our current exhibition. Civic Theater is currently making plans for a successful and safe reopening and asks you to join us when we reopen either this coming fall or next spring. Our music ensembles include over 200 community members as musicians and normally perform 20 concerts per year at Lakeland and off campus. Since in-person performances are not possible right now, our ensembles are hard at work creating a spring virtual concert that will be available online soon. I hope you can join us. Watch our website for details. Third, I hope you consider joining or supporting the arts at Lakeland. You can join us either in the audience, such as you are today, or by auditioning for a music ensemble. You can support the arts at Lakeland through financial donations. Donations of any size are appreciated to keep us operational and creativity flowing. Again, please see our website for more details. Okay, on to this year's festivities. In reverse order, I hope you join us tomorrow night for an interview and solo performance with the well-known international jazz artist, Carol Wellsman. In place of middle and high school band performances, we have provided virtual adjudication of recorded solos by many of our talented middle and high school musicians in our own community. Finally, tonight we have a special performance by our friends, the Cleveland Jazz Orchestra, a rebroadcast of their 2019 Bop Stop performance, A Love Supreme, originally arranged for the Frankfurt Radio Big Band by Jim McNeely. Thank you for joining us, and without further delay, I give you the Cleveland Jazz Orchestra.
This concludes tonight's concert. Thank you for watching. In closing, we would like to acknowledge several people whose talent and efforts made this year's festival possible. First and foremost, Chuck Frank. Mr. Frank was the founding father of the Lakeland Jazz Festival. He recently passed on, but his vision of a jazz festival that would inspire the music community began in 1972 and continues today. A big thank you to our college president, Morris Beveridge, our executive vice president and provost, Laura Bernard, our dean of arts and science, Adam Clotier, our department chair, Matthew Saunders, and festival co-director, Steve Stanziano. On campus, we were assisted by the video production department, Philip Boyle and Sam Pastorio senior secretary, Jerry Pilarsic, and the marketing department, Colleen Marble and Tracy Shook. A special thanks to Steve Frumpkin and Jim Wadsworth of JWP Productions, John Simna of WCLV and IdeaStream, and the Cleveland Jazz Orchestra, especially Scott Garlock and Lynn Gerace. A salute to this year's guest artist, Joe Lovano, saxophonist, Jim McNeely, a ranger, and the musicians of the Cleveland Jazz Orchestra, and vocalist and pianist Carol Wellsman and her musicians. Also, a big thanks to all the music educators and students who participated in this year's solo contest. A special thank you to Greg Fishman, who provided the backing tracks for our solo contest his educational materials can be found at gregfishmanjazzstudios.com. And a special thank you to our audience. We miss you and can't wait to see you at next year's 50th anniversary of the Lakeland Jazz Festival. Stay well and be safe.